Hey y'all, in 4 H and H here. Just worked uh, my friend Ryan, WG4I, that's him. You hear that interference? Yeah, there's my friend Richard chasing him. Richard will be ground wave to me. Ryan's in Michigan. Okay, so uh, Ryan is doing a soda summit in Michigan, activating as we call it. And uh, he is the, in fact, the Summits on the Air Association Director for Georgia. And Richard, who just chased him, is, he, is his assistant. So that was pretty cool that we caught that. So the reason things sound funny is there's QR Mary, guys splattering from 3K up. He's not talking right now, but you heard it a minute ago. When it comes back in. I'll show you what I do. Okay, here we are with just some digital noise reduction. There's no digital noise reduction. Digital noise reduction. I'm running it at five. Now I could also engage contour, but I only use that if they're buried in the noise. You know, you can and get you've seen my videos, you can engage it and sweep it up or plus or minus two thousand hertz, you know, go up and down from two thousand hertz until you pull them out best. But um, if you are going to run contour, it's a good idea to lower the DNR a little bit. See there we are with contour and DNR. But you know, Ryan's an S9. I guess the interference isn't coming back. I wanted to show you how I dealt with it, which was shift. I went to a width of 1.5. That's what pinches up Ryan's voice. Maybe 1.65 would be enough. And then I shifted negative because the interference was the higher pitched interference. And if it's high pitch, you go negative. If it's low, you go positive. I just got a text from Richard uh, in one RBD who chased him there at the beginning of the video, uh, probably telling me that, either telling me that Ryan's on or telling me he heard me. Up oh, there's the interference. But you can minimize it with those tools. Uh, talking now. There we go. I don't think they have any power limitations down where that station's from. Okay, and then the icing on the cake, I would I would add in the mu tuning pre-selector, which is a variable pre-selector. You have that on radios such as the uh, FTDX 101D, the 101MP. Uh, the ICOM 7610 has it. Uh, they call it Digicel. The um, uh, Kenwood TS990S, just to name a few. Not every radio has a pre-selector, though. And the uh, some of the radios, I think the 7610 and the 990S, you don't have con really control over the pre-selector. It follows your VFO. Uh, the Yaesu radios allow you to do what I did, which is, by default, the pre-selector comes centered up on whatever frequency you're on. But if the interference is above me, then I'm going to move the pre-selector to the left. And that'll drop Ryan's signal down. See? Now, it also knocks the noise down, which is convenient. So now all I hear is Ryan. But it also, if you look down here at this graphic, that interfering station is coming from up here, above where I put my pre-selector. So the idea is I can still hear Ryan, but I've knocked the interference down. So, 
you know, you've seen, if in various videos on the channel, I've covered all of this, but here's an opportunity to see it all work together. And you've heard me say, I work my F S meter to the left. You see Ryan's coming up to two or three now. He's really an S9. The objective is signal to noise ratio. I can still hear Ryan and I've not only knocked out the noise floor, I've also knocked out the QR Mary. Okay, well, just a quick little tip video there. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Thank you to the Patreon support team who bring these videos to you. They make these videos possible. So if you would like to join that team uh, and help as well to keep these videos coming, these uh, tip videos, operational type videos, um, and of course, you know, I like to cover uh, operating techniques and, and we get into gear, antennas, radios, mics, things like that as well. If you would like to contribute a small amount each month to help keep these videos coming, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH patreon.com forward slash n4 h and h and please uh, smash that thumbs up button click the like that helps us out with youtube's algorithm and also consider subscribing to the channel if you do subscribe to the channel uh, be sure to click the notification bell and you'll be notified when i upload a new video generally uh, one and two a week sometimes a third if uh, there's breaking news that i need to get out in a hurry if you would Maybe share the video link, you know, on uh, social media, text message, uh, email, or just tell a friend. Hey, thanks again for watching. And 73 from N4 H&H.